G'day everyone, welcome to Tasmanian Fishing Adventures. We are at the uh, very windy Boat Harbour Beach. Got a few rods and uh, surf rods and a new rod that I've not used. Um, and we'll hopefully catch a few salmon off the rock here. I was here about three weeks ago. Uh, caught three or four or five salmon, um, including a really big one. Um, so hopefully we can find a few more salmon, that'll be really cool. Uh, I've got some new soft plastics and a few different things, surf poppers, all different stuff. So we're trying a few different techniques and uh, hopefully getting onto a few fish, but we'll get organised and we'll get to it. Got one! <laughs> yes, nice. First fish got off, second one didn't. Here we go. Bit of sure fishing for you. Hook comes out straight away. There he is. Nice. Nice fish. Going back in though, buddy. Woo. Oh, I hadn't even basically put the rod down. Oh God, this is a big fish. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Come on. When they're on, they're on. Stay away from the rocks though, buddy. <laughs> He's going all the way over there. Come on. Oh. If you swim around this way, that'll be much appreciated. Being well behaved. Oh. Look at this. Come on. With this wave, in we come. Yes! <laughs> Look at that! The hook comes straight out. Coming here for a picture first fish. Oh wow. Have a squiz at that. <laughs> that is a nice salmon. I don't care where you're from, that is a real nice salmon. Water chunky fish oh man that was awesome let's go Woo. <laughs> so i caught two fish and i've lost one uh as well on the first cast, I lost one. And now we're uh, two from three casts. Let's see if we get another one straight away, but 
Um, they've both been on the bait. I've got a surf popper on as well. Blue surf popper. And previously I've done well with surf poppers. Uh, but these two fish have been on uh, the bait, which is blue bait. Here we go. Big one. Got on the surf fish all the way out there. Oh, nice fish. Way there he is. Jumping around. Don't go around the point. Oh. Look at him going. Jump, jump, jump. Woo. Oh, what a tank, and he took the surf popper as well. That's awesome. First one to take the popper. Have a look at that. Is that fish of the day? I don't know. Awesome. What an absolute chunk. Solid, solid fish. Took the surf popper, that's really exciting. That's cool rather than the bait. Get him back in, chuck the line back out there. Thank you for the fun, buddy. Not jumping around like the last one. Might not be, oh there he is, not quite as big. Surf popper again. Oh, two of them. We've got a double. Oh. Come here. <laughs> double. <laughs> Double salmon. Look at that. It's the first one on the popper there. A little bit bigger than his friends. There's his friend. <laughs> Woo! They're on. Yes. <laughs> Thought there was a nibble. <laughs> Woohoo! Another double. Thick and fast they are, thick and fast. Oh, just winding in my soft plastic. We are on. This is your triple hooker. Look at this. This is the first fish I've ever hooked on this rod. I will also tell you that. Brand new rod, real cheap combo thingy and I'll tell you what it is in a moment because I'm not sure about it. Shimano thingy. It's a really uh, little one, this guy. Add him to the tank. Oh man, have a look at that. We've got fish on bait, we've got fish on surf popper, we have fish on soft plastic. 
Yeah, they drink really cheap. It was on special. So I got it. a Shimano Sonic 2-4 to four kilo spin rod uh, with a Shimano Sienna 1000. Very cheap. Less than 100 bucks combo. It was on special. I thought it would be a nice hot water spin rod. So I can uh, have a nicer, lighter weight salt water rod instead of needing to use the rod I use for trout fishing. We're using fresh water, so yeah, I have both. Don't need to ruin the fresh water gear on the salt water. Fish. <laughs> yeah. How good is this? Seriously, how good is this? Towards me now. Whoa, there's like 20 of them with him. Get out of control. This is out of control. Push the plastic thing. Woo! Retiring the surf rods for a second. Because they're on the absolute shoe. Get a couple more fish on my brand new rod. Hadn't even started winding in yet. <laughs> on the drop. Oh man, one of those days, one of those days, everything's gone right. Bang, bang, bang. Woohoo! Oh yeah. I'm liking my new rod. It works. Nice, lightweight spin rod. Perfect for these little, oop, and he's gone. These little salmon. Some of those big boys might, uh, might be interesting. We hooked one on this, but uh, let's see if we can do that again. That was just on the drop. No, I thought that was your fish for a moment. There he is. Ah, yes. They're gone. They're absolutely out of control out there. This might be a slightly better one. <laughs> gone mental. I can see him. Heading straight for the rocks. Ah, oh, winter fishing in Tasmania. When you can't fish for trout, these are the absolute next best thing. Could they be even better? I don't know. Won't start too many. Won't get too controversial right here. That is a nice little salmon. Chucking the surf rod around would just be an absolute waste of time at the moment. Sorry, salmon, where'd you go? That is an absolute fun fish right there. Your plastic fishing, but you know what? Four packets of soft plastics for 20 bucks at the Tackle World Bernie. And look at this. I only needed one soft plastic, really, but <laughs> it's just a really white, shiny, kind of silvery, you know, 
very typical bait fish imitation, this plastic. And of course, it's what the salmon are after. And there's just a stack of them out there. And they're all about the same size. We're catching real big ones earlier on the surf rod, but uh, wait for a wave to come in. But well, they've been replaced by smaller models. Oh. If I can land them. Well, that's just still a good fish. I think we're slowly upgrading. We're slowly upgrading there. Seriously. <laughs> That's funny how I've um, been letting it kind of get down to the bottom. He off again. On again. <laughs> Wee. And Hakim being like a massive quick retrieve, it's just really slow on the bottom and they've been picking it up off the bottom. That's what's worked for me. My very limited experience with the uh, plastics, but... Come on, come this way. Funny how one of his friends must have picked up that plastic after he dropped it first time. That's a nice fish. You take that every day of the week. Jack's got that lure back out there. Looking real mangled. Probably only got one more fish left in him. Let it get down to the bottom. Getting touched already. Look at that. That is fishing. That, sorry, no, that's catching. This is not fishing. Fishing is been and gone. <laughs> the rod itself I got for 40 bucks. And you're catching epic fish like that. I went quiet for a bit and then I got excited because you got a bite and uh, pretty quickly realised this wasn't any salmon bite. <laughs> uh, lovely shark. Alrighty guys, back at the car now. Um, very successful, <laughs> caught lots of fish in all different techniques. New rod got christened, um, new soft plastics worked really well, so it was a good day out. Getting a bit cold now, wind's picked up again. Um, and the fish have kind of gone off the bite, it's dead low tide, so they've kind of gone off the bite now. But anyway, until next time, I hope to see you out on the water, wherever that may be.